have Tennessee goes on the road to Arkansas. Let's take a look at Tennessee's schedule, what they've done so far in this year. They started out facing Chattanooga, winning 69 to 3. Then they went on the road at NC State. They won 51 to 10. NC State ended up not being that great of a team. Actually, they are probably one of the worst power four teams in the country. They play Kent State. They beat them 71 to nothing. And by the way, I almost predicted that right to a T. I said 73 to nothing. They won 71 to nothing. And then they played Oklahoma, not last weekend, but the weekend before that. They played Oklahoma. They won 25 to 15. And I will be honest with you, I really wasn't that impressed with that win. But it is a rank win, and it is on the road in Norman. So got to give credit to the Tennessee Vols there. And they got to play Arkansas on the road. Arkansas, they started out versus Oklahoma. No, they they started out against Arkansas, uh, a nobody team. They won 70 to nothing. And then they went on the road, played Oklahoma State. They lost 31 to 39. Then they beat UAB 37 27. They went on the road at Auburn. They got a win. And then they went on the road to take, well, yeah, technically on the road, neutral, neutral site field, Texas AM. And they lost 21 17. So that's that. Arkansas returns home to face the Tennessee Vols. Tennessee's only favored by 13 and a half points, guys. Tennessee's only favored by 13 and a half. Ooh. Do they know something that we don't? I don't know. Let's take a look at the injuries. We got a couple of injuries for both teams. You got linebacker Perry. He's questionable with an undisclosed injury. You got Selden, running back. He's questionable with an undisclosed injury. You got Matthews, wide receiver, questionables with an undisclosed injury. You got uh, Oki, he's a defensive lineman. He's out with an undisclosed in injury. You got Staley, he's a wide receiver. He's questionable with an undisclosed injury. And you got Thomas, defensive back, he's out with a knee injury. So, um, like three or four questionables, two of them are definitely out. Arkansas injuries. You got... Wilson, wide receiver, he's out with an undisclosed injury. You got James, wide receiver, he's out with a suspension. You got Dominion, he's running back, he's questionable with an undisclosed injury. Mitchell, he's a defensive back, he's questionable with an undisclosed injury. And then you got Kutas, he is an offensive lineman, questionable with a back injury. So pretty much that's how that goes. And as far as Tennessee, I think Tennessee is a great team. What we've seen so far, they've done everything that they are supposed to do to beat these nobody teams. And they also went on the road to Norman, Oklahoma, beat a ranked Oklahoma team, you know, by double digit points. So Tennessee is looking like this top 10 team to me. Tennessee has to go on the road. Arkansas, to me, they've got quarterback problems. they got offensive line problems. I feel like their quarterback can be good, okay? I feel like their quarterback can be good if their offensive line would do something, okay? Taylor Green is could be a really good quarterback, but he's at Arkansas. It seems like as soon as... I feel like Tennessee's defensive line is just going to eat Arkansas's offensive line for lunch. You're going to see multiple sacks in this game. Taylor Green does have legs to get outside of the pocket and make, make a man miss with his legs. So he has that playmaking ability. But until Arkansas gets an offensive line, it's just really going to be hard for t for Arkansas to get anything going against Tennessee. 13 and a half point spread. Hmm. What do I want to predict for this Tennessee game? I think 
Tennessee is going to win by more than 13 and a half points. I'll take the over. The over under is 58 and a half points. I'm going to take the under on that. Okay. So I'm going to say that Tennessee wins this game 38, 38 to 17. I like that. I like that score.